if we take a look at especially the list of the participants, the attendees at the conference, would you say, Mr. Minister, that it is inclusive? Yes, I, I would say it is very inclusive because of the following reasons. We, uh, you may recall that last year in July we had uh, broad consultations uh, organized by the Ministry of Land Reform on this land issue. So we, had, uh, we have uh, visited all the 14 regions in the country and then afterwards we compiled a report on our consultations. Mm -hmm. And then afterwards, you may recall that, of course, the, uh, the civil society complained that they were, the, the, the consultations were not properly done, they were not adequate, many people were excluded. And therefore, uh, His Excellency the President, Dr. Dr. Hage Gainkop, called for, for the second uh, consultative uh, conference, which we just concluded this year and uh, as a result we uh, i think we we invited everybody all the stakeholders starting from political parties church groups uh, pressure groups mm -hmm. uh, councillors anybody who has a, an interest in the land matters they were invited but how do you react to the story that we just brought uh, to the nation that the lpm in particular is boycotting the conference and the reason that they are citing is that they were invited too late well the the lpm they are entitled to their views i should say that uh, we we have had lo long ago even before you this that they they were contemplating boycotting the conference and so on so it is not a surprise to us but uh, nevertheless we have fulfilled the requirement that we must be the, this conference must be as consultative as possible and that's why we have invited all the stakeholders and was there a list before the final one actually came out because uh, it increase from 500 to 800. We have uh, established uh, the high-level committee, which comprised of all the stakeholders, many of them, the civil society organizations, and they have rightly asked that we must increase the list so that we accommodate everybody. Mm -hmm. We didn't, and didn't want anybody to be left out. So there was no intention to do no, that? No, there was no intention. But you, may, you must remember that we, we have a conference facility that is very very small and uh, to accommodate delegates of that uh, of that magnitude mm -hmm. uh, require space and and also the 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 conference facilities translation and all these things it's a major headache now, so we have moved up to eight, 828 and i can assure you today that that list may even increase and the problem, maybe what I should say it is that we, we, we tend to criticize too much mm -hmm. without bringing forward possible solutions. There is so much criticism about the land redistribution process having been well, too slow, yes. a failure. How do you react to that? Well, I, I should say that every long journey start, a very long journey start with a small step. And I can tell you today that farms acquired is 549 farms. That is the farms we have bought at a, at a total cost of 1.9 billion Namibian dollars. Is this since independence? Since independence. And we have resettled 538 families. There has, there has been criticism that we have been resettling the elite and so on, which to my view, if you look, they have cited in the newspaper, the Namibian, they have cited that there are three ministers resettled, but, and then three directors who have been resettled out of almost 600 families. Can you imagine? And these people were mere officials. And uh, our, our Agricultural Land Reform Act of 2005 does not discriminate. Anybody is entitled to apply for resettlement. How do you intend to address this plight and, and those of other vulnerable groups? And will it definitely feature at the mm -hmm. land conference? Within these figures that I have mentioned, 500 and almost 600 people who have resettled, mm -hmm. these include the farm workers who were, 
whom were dumped in corridors mm -hmm. from north, south to east and west. Mm -hmm. All those people have been resettled. The sun people, the people with disabilities. It's only that we don't have time. I could have given you the figures we have here. New Samara, we have even bought farms, expensive farms, where we have resettled the sun people. So the, 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 the argument, and even the former fighters, the, uh, the war veterans and the, the former Kufus, they were just in, in corridors. All those people have been resettled. But I'm sure there are still many more. There are still many more. It is, it is a, as I say, it's a long journey. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, we, we are trying our level best to make sure that all the vulnerable communities are taken care of. But remember, we have the Labor Act, which we have uh, enacted, mm -hmm. uh, a law that, is, that takes care of all the farm workers. Mm -hmm. they, uh, this law provides that when you employ so, some of the farm workers, you have to pay social security so that in the event these people, they, uh, they are evicted or whatever happens, they have a social security safety net to look after them. We must not forget we have laws in place. It's only that we sometimes do not implement the laws correctly.